I think why we thought we will do this is the morning was more conceptual in terms of what is platformation and why is it driving business change and what are the framework for platformation. So we thought that the afternoon will run. Uh, it's a, it's like a, a playbook kind of stuff. So if you want to do platformation in your organization, you know what are the possibilities for you to look at and how to go about it. It's not a very detailed exercise because that will take three months. So because it's not it's a non-trivial issue. Uh, this is just to give you some uh, you know high level idea of what are the issues one need to look at from an organizational perspective before you want to really think that you're right for platformation, you want to deploy platformation, how to go about it kind of stuff. So we covered this in the morning, so I don't want to cover this again. So as I said, there are really three uh, uh, options in terms of how do you look at what is the opportunity for platformation. Uh, what is awareness in the organization, if any, on platformation? And how do I do an assessment of the technology in the organization in terms of its platform readiness? So, and then the right side is if I do that, then they need to put up a roadmap in terms of what is the platform business architecture, what would be the roadmap to do it, and how do you achieve it kind of stuff. Right, so there are really three tools here which I'm going to briefly cover. One is called the business framework, uh, second is the platform maturity framework, and the third is the uh, technology assessment framework. So, uh, right, so it's a fairly busy slide, but what it talks about is really the, if you are thinking of yourself as a platform based business, you need to understand who are all the stakeholders in that ecosystem, right? So the stakeholders are, one is the platform owner, right? So example, Amazon is the platform owner. Airbnb is the platform owner. Uber is the platform owner. So that's, simp I mean, uh, definition of who is the platform owner. That is the primary person who has the idea of creating a platform-based business or looking at the current business itself to say that is there a possibility for me to look at it as a platform-based business. The second are consumers, like for example, Uber, it is people like you and me. Uh, third is the producers who are like the cab aggregators, etc. And then there could be other participants like lending institutions, financial institutions, um, uh, uh, consulting bodies, if you're in the travel industry, somebody like TripAdvisor becomes an ancillary uh, service provider to the ecosystem kind of stuff. So basically what it says is that if you want to look at it, you know, as a simple fundamental exercise, can you go to the drawing board and start drawing this up? As I said, uh, there is a fairly detailed framework with us for this uh, in terms of how do you go about it, but at a very high level, you need to start thinking about yourself of where do I figure uh, and what does my ecosystem look like and who are all the players in it and stakeholders kind of stuff. That is step number one. Step two is really, can you then figure out what are the motivations and the value creations of each of the participants in the ecosystem? Why are each of these people coming into play? Because that defines then finally, how you design the platform and create the transactions, etc. So are you able to map who are all the participants? What is the motivation of the consumer? What is the motivation of the producer? What is the motivation of the platform owner? And what is the value they want to create in the business? So it's a consumer in this case wants a, for Uber wants a easy transport, very, uh, easy to consume, very easy to pay, highly secure, and not, uh, let's say, cost, and cost effective, right? These are all the motivations of the consumer. And the motivations of the producer is they have some free assets, 
uh, I want to leverage it, I want to be flexible about it, I want to be my own boss, I want to be able to do it whenever I want, etc., etc., etc. So, that is the motivation of the producer. Now, Uber is the person with the idea who says, now can I bring all of them together and then I can I create an ecosystem and then I take a transaction fee for facilitating that interaction. So, that is the motivation of Uber. Now, there are the government which is participating in this to saying that do these people have permissions, authorities, etc., etc. So, they are all interested in the platform. So, these are all the ancillary stakeholders. So, you figure out what are the motivations of individual particip uh, participants of the platform. And then it, this is a little bit more complicated in terms of how do I then put this all together in a framework which says that the stakeholders, the motivations, the value creations and what are all the various transactions which will then take place for all of them to work together. So, at a high level I mean what I'm, what I'm saying is that if you want to think of yourselves as a potential platform based business or business model, uh, the simple first step is to really figure out at least drop these things to see whether it makes sense itself. If it does not make sense then at least the next two parts is only then I can I apply the technology components of the platform based model for my business, but you are not really a truly a your business is not a uh, ideal for a platform based business model which is okay it need not be all businesses or need not be platform based businesses, but you can apply platform concepts to implementing technology in your business kind of stuff. So, that is really the step uh, I mean first step in terms of the business framework. The second is really what we call the platform business maturity model which uh, really looks at the leadership and uh, talent, uh, the vision and business model and the execution. So, where are we in terms of as an organization on each of these four dimensions? For example, uh, you know the leadership is not aware or have not bought in to a platform based business model, then you put say that the leadership quotient is level 1 in the organization. So, even if you want to do something you need to deal with that first before you actually do anything else kind of stuff. Uh, similarly, Second is that is there a formal vision which I spoke about that how do I create a platform based business model and then from vision to various other steps. So, you can then uh, uh, check where you are kind of stuff and the third is really is there a execution today of something in this way whether some projects have been identified like in the morning we heard J and J talk about although they never started thinking it was a platform based business, but they started doing projects and then they combined it later on and, and then stitched it together to make it a platform kind of a concept. So, so the third is this. So, if you plot yourself in these three dimensions and this is where I think we have given you some questionnaires, uh, Arijit, yeah, we will distribute those questionnaires to you. Um, there are two questionnaires uh, which asks you to just answer those questions. Uh, one is on the platform based maturity model and uh, these are the questions we talked about leadership awareness is, is there anything happening in platform. Again uh, this is a very simple kind of an exercise so that you get some idea of how to go about it. Otherwise the number of questions we have today is about a hundred uh, and they will actually be more because the amount of information you need to collect as I said it is not a trivial stuff, but it is really for you to get a very high level idea you know if I want to plot myself in my organization where am I kind of things. So, it just tells you that. And the next is really the technology for a platform which is what I talked about right the 16 framework. And it is really broken up into three uh, buckets digital capability, data strategy and current architecture in the organization. So, again we have a questionnaire I think which tells you to uh, not answer these questions, but those questions which are straightforward kind of stuff. So, which will tell you in some fashion where your organization is on the 16 point framework. Uh, be try to 
create an automated tool for this workshop so that we could actually plot it and show it to you. But I don't think that tool is working today. So if you can give us your questionnaires with your names written on it, we'll mail back the uh, plotted framework, which I'll talk about. So you'll get this framework for the questions you answer on the 16 point, which says that on each of those dimensions, where are you, whether you're ready, not initiated yet, in progress, and uh, must have in near future. So it will define you know, what you need to focus on as an organization and what you can not do kind of stuff. So it, all of them you don't have to do. Uh, uh, so, so, so we'll attempt to send you this uh, uh, based on the answers to those questions. So, so finally, I mean, this is just a summary of all the, I mean, if you answer both the questionnaires, uh, the plotting will, I mean, just our this thing will just tell you where you belong based on whatever are the answers you've given, whether you're on this or this or this or this. So, and then actually from that, uh, there is, uh, uh, this is just a, uh, uh, a sample of how it, that will look like if you plot it. Uh, so, so, I'll stop at this stage. So, uh, if you can fill up these two questionnaires, and then I'll continue on the uh, rest of it on what are the execution possibilities. So, while the answers are being collated and we'll put together and show, show to you, I mean. So the next step, I mean, question could be in your mind saying, okay, so we have done some analysis of, does it apply to us, where are we, uh, uh, what are the gaps, etc. So the next is really how should, how can one go about doing this kind of stuff. There's not like one right answer, but it just gives you an idea of what is involved in getting this done. Um, so the key is, as I said, you need a business framework architecture, the one I talked about, unless you have that, whatever business you are in, whether you, even if you're not in a platform business, unless you're able to put the core value proposition and the motivations of the various participants in that, that creates the uh, reference framework. Uh, and then we can take that and then actually start uh, studying your current application architecture, uh, uh, landscape, what's your current infrastructure, where are you on the 16-point framework, and uh, what are your current challenges which you're being faced kind of stuff. So that's really step one in terms of assessment of your current business. And uh, really, the future uh, is finally, this is all about creating a, a technology platform only, right? Uh, giving all that information. The end result is how do you create, at least in a Sonata's platformation concept of platform, right? And the end goal is that. So there is a to be goal uh, and there are reference architectures which are, which we have done which says that what does the ideal state look like if you want to be a truly platform oriented company from a technology perspective. I'm not talking about from the business perspective anymore, but from a technology perspective, if you have to be a platform, uh, your digital uh, implementation uh, is completely aligned to the platform concept, then there is a end goal we need to get to. So that's what uh, will be defined as step two kind of stuff. But as I said at the beginning, I mean, this is all a lot of work, uh, huge amount of work of collection of what you have and uh, what you need and what are the challenges, a lot of iterations, et cetera, et cetera, because our belief is that uh, you need to get this right. Uh, uh, because what you are trying to do is you're creating a foundation uh, which can later on be used to do whatever you want to do to your business. Uh, it, will, should, it will facilitate any kind of process to be put very easily on, which is what we talked about, right? Amazon, 
Uber, uh, Airbnb. I mean, they have, I mean, I guess they were geniuses. They figured it out 15 years back <laughs> uh, about how is a business constructed and, and they've actually done it today. I mean, today Amazon can launch a new, uh, new format uh, in three months, right? They can tomorrow, I mean, they're in most formats now, I think. I don't know what format they're not into, but they're including movies and other things. But because of the technology they've created, they can create new formats uh, within three months' time uh, from a business perspective. Obviously, there's a back end in terms of uh, understanding what you want to sell, how you want to sell, and all that kind of stuff. But from a technology developer's perspective, adding a new line is three months kind of stuff, uh, which is like a fantastic idea. I mean, you know, so today for any other business to launch a new line uh, may take years together, not months kind of stuff, years. Uh, so if you want to start a sports goods line, I mean, you know, and build a business, take five years. But uh, because Amazon have constructed it in such a way, or other companies uh, we're talking about. Uber is using it to now deliver food. I mean, I mean the, the, the combination and the possibilities are immense because of just the plat way the platform has been created and nothing else. Uh, so, so I think uh, what I was trying to get is that it's important to get it right if you are doing a transformative exercise. Uh, if you're not, then we can always then have to look at it bolting on to what you already have, what can we do with it, uh, and see how we can put it all together. But if you're doing a transformative exercise, then uh, it's better to get it right because that should be the future of your business, like for it is for Amazon, for the next 15 to 20 years kind of stuff. So that's why I think this is a very critical step and there are, as I said, but important, the useful part is that there are reference architectures which will ensure you get it uh, reasonably right, uh, that basic things will not get missed out. And that's where our 16-point framework helps because we always go back to that as a reference to check is all of this being qualified in this new stuff kind of stuff. Is it done? Yes. Okay, so here we have. <laughs> wow, okay. So this room we have... Three beginners, uh, four challenges, and five are already visionaries. So fantastic! So, so we have uh, four who are almost there in terms of whatever I spoke about uh, from a platform perspective. But yeah, it's just an exercise. So I don't think we need to get unduly worried about this. <laughs> but, but yeah, so so it's just I think. Uh, just tells us from among various people in the room where we, we think we are in this roadmap. map.